court process is complicated. There are a lot of steps and a lot of people involved. It helps to know what might happen, when, how you might be part of it and where you can get support. I wasn't prepared for the jargon, you know, the, the language that you speak in, in, the court, court, in the courtroom. So that was quite um, difficult because um, I just remember the lawyer kept on saying, um, her lawyer was saying, and I put it to you, and I put it to you. And I don't know what she meant, but I put it to you. So we don't. it's not the kind of language you use every day. My job as a victim advisor is to ensure that we are clear, that we can retell the person in a simple way or just help translate some of the things that are going on. Our job is to just ensure that they know what's happening, that their voice is being heard, and that they have someone within the court system who acts as their eyes and ears. One thing you can be assured of as a victim is that you would have the same victim advisor who would ring and introduce the service to you the defendant comes to the court, they'll appear before the judge or magistrate and as soon as we have an outcome from that, we will contact the victim either by phone, uh, email, whatever uh, the police have given us as information, details of the victim. I'm a police prosecutor, so my job is to check files that come into the office, check that there's enough evidence, and then to appear in court for the police. For some crimes, some of the more serious crimes, they end up being dealt with by a Crown prosecutor, and a Crown prosecutor is a lawyer. It is the Crown versus the defendant, and uh, you are a witness for the Crown. Even though you may be the victim of the crime, uh, you, are only, you are only a witness. I was reminded of that. The person accused of the crime is likely to appear in court several times at hearings to progress the case, for instance to plead not guilty or guilty, and at hearings which look further at the case. This process may take some time. It's very unlikely you'll need to attend these hearings, but you can if you want to. The defendant will enter a plea. This will either be not guilty or guilty. If they plead guilty, the matter will then go off to another date for sentencing. If they plead not guilty, this will go onto a trial or else go to a defended fixture. A defended hearing is where a judge hears the case alone and a trial is where a jury and judge hear the case. Court process is very complicated. You can ask your court victim advisor or officer in charge to explain anything you don't understand. The justice system is very technical and it's lots of processes, but the victim is the important person in all of this and we are doing our job for them and we want to try and do the best that we can for them. There are a lot of people you might see in a courtroom. It can be a very busy place. The judge is in charge of the court. They decide if the accused person is guilty or if there is a jury, the jury will decide this instead. The prosecutor takes the case on behalf of the Crown and aims to prove the person accused of the crime is guilty beyond reasonable doubt. The officer in charge is the police officer in charge of your case. The defendant, also called the accused, is the person charged with committing the crime. The defence lawyer represents the defendant or accused. The registrar helps the judge and makes sure that the court processes are followed. The court victim advisor helps you understand the court process. Court security makes sure everyone is safe at court. The jury listens to the evidence and decides if the person charged is guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Journalists can report on cases, but in cases of sexual violence are automatically forbidden to report any details that might identify the victim. The judge can also order other details not to be reported. Members of the public can watch court cases unless the court is a closed court. Depending on the crime and how it's prosecuted, your case will be heard in a district court or a high court. The district court is where all cases except youth cases start. The high court deals with the most serious types of crimes. 
If you are a victim of crime committed by a young person, your case will most likely be dealt with through the youth justice process. Being part of a case that goes to court can be a long and confusing experience. Sometimes, for instance, if a jury cannot make a decision, there may even be another trial, or the verdict may be appealed. Your court victim advisor or police officer in charge will keep you up to date and explain anything you don't understand. You can also get support throughout the process. Call the Victims of Crime Information Line to contact your court victim advisor or to find out about agencies in your area, or call Victim Support. Victims of some types of serious crime may also be eligible for financial support to attend court. Talk to Victim Support for more information.